Hi guys, Shobhik Mitra, welcome to my channel once again, which is iTech Review. So today we're gonna talk about the Micromax Eureka uh, pros and cons and the full in-depth review. I'm using this device for last uh, one and a half months and I'm pretty impressed with this device but in some aspect ratio I'm pretty disappointed also. So firstly I'm gonna talk with some pros and then I will continue the cons. There, there is a huge list guys, so be patient and it's a unique review I can say uh, it's an honest review uh, so first of all uh, the my first uh, pro is for Eureka is the display the display is pretty good you can see the viewing angles of this display and colors are pretty sharp and pretty accurate and the display is uh, pretty good and the sunlight viewing visibility is pretty good you can also see check the sunlight visibility test of Eureka I'm gonna attach this video with this uh, so the sunlight uh, viewing angle is pretty good. You can you can see the display properly in full sunlight Hi guys, we are checking the sunlight visibility test of the UU Raga. You can see I'm using this device in direct sunlight I don't know if you are seeing this or not, but the sunlight visibility is pretty good Of this device. I'm gonna quickly easily show all the object present in this device and the display is uh, easily visible in the outdoor and the direct sunlight condition and it's in 5.5 inch IPS panel display uh, it's a pretty huge display and uh, one more thing to the display point guys this device uh, support uh, Gorilla Glass 3 and it's also support a oilophobic coating so you don't see any uh, scratches or like uh, fingerprint or fingers from uh, scratches like that uh, but right now I'm using a screen guard supplied by you so you can see some uh, here and there marks and scratch uh, so which is not a good thing and so uh, the third point is uh, the third pro is the build quality guys the build quality is pretty good in this device you can see Eureka say it's a um, uh, moonstone finish or moon dust finish uh, what, whatever but I don't like that moon dust finish is pretty unique it's a rubberized uh, matte finish back cover nothing else you have a pretty good grip and that's it and, and you can also see the slimness the seamless uh, this device is pretty sm uh, slim I would say and the build quality is pretty good I would give this device uh, 10 out of 9 for the build quality at least and uh, then I can see it's a tricky pros uh, the supplied accessories some of the current company or the Chinese manufacturer are shipped with their device with without headset and screen guard or like that uh, just only they only provide charger and data cable but in this case uh, you television just provide the screen guard and a full bunch of accessories like headphone charger screen guard manual etc the full uh, things with this device which is a bit of advantage I would say you can't uh, rush in the market after buying this device for the screen guard which is pretty hard to find a new device with the screen guard so you supplied a screen guard with the device and they also sell separately a tempered uh, screen guard which is pretty good for the free screen guard I would say uh, but you get a screen guard which is a good thing uh, so the second point is the battery uh, many people are saying the battery backup is uh, not that good but I can say the battery is last uh, above one day for me and uh, two simple two hard uses it will last at least one day for me uh, so if you have any problem just collaborate with battery because I am in the first time I will also facing some issue with the battery uh, this battery has a collaboration issue you have to collaborate the battery if you do one thing firstly uh, full discharge your phone then uh, to zero percent then charge it fully to hundred percent that will solve your battery problem issue and I think it's my view and uh, the uh, sixth uh, probe uh, which I have to mention is the inbuilt chipset this device support uh, snapdragon uh, 615 chipset which is a pretty new chipset it's a 64-bit architecture chipset and you also see the benchmark scores is pretty high in this device um, this device also support uh, that thing 
and you also get a pretty good configuration in this device you have a 2 gb ram with the snapdragon 615 chipset you can see uh, but the con is the, uh, there is some bug with the ways uh, the all the chipset is running all the time you can see in the cpu z the maximum chipset is running so it will create a heating issue i am i'm coming in the con, con span part then i will discuss the heating issue now i leave this issue and uh, this device also uh, support uh, 2 gb of ram you can see i'm using this device for a couple of days uh, 927 927 mb of ram which is 48 percent free which is brilliant just 1 gb of ram use every time uh, so which is pretty good uh, at a 9000 rupees phone in the price ratio i would say in the 9000 rupees you get snapdragon 615 processors 2 gb ram what you can expect more Samsung and like other company like HTC are selling with the Snapdragon 615 chipset device with 2GB RAM, double and triple cost for this this Eureka. So it's a pros. I have to say it's a pros, guys. Um, the seven point is Cyanogen OS. This device uh, support comes with Cyanogen OS, which is full of customization. You can customize everything from the theme, from the lock screen to from the uh, button. You can choose everything in the notification bar in the status bar you can change and every you can do everything any customization what which you want you also get a bunch of themes option you can have the theme folder you can easily install theme for your device there are several collection of themes in this uh, theme store you can get many themes but uh, here is a bit of con guys uh, if you are a xiaomi user or a mi ui user uh, the themes ratio and the themes available in the market is pretty less the Xiaomi MI phones have pretty huge amount of theme but you have pretty less amount of theme in this case you can easily download go and their store and download uh, any Cyanogen theme from the Google Play Store but still I guess the themes are pretty low in my ratio in my viewing also so that's all the con uh, sorry that's all the pros of this EU Eureka now I'm gonna discuss with some cons I'm facing with this device for the last one month so first con is I previously mentioned the heating issue. This device heating little bit. I, I don't say it will heat uh, too much. Some of the user say it will go to for 50 degree or 55 degree, but I don't face any issue. We uh, we playing uh, asphalt aid uh, too much game on this device, but the heating issue is not too big. We, I, I play I personally play asphalt aid for 20 minutes. Then I check the temperature. The heating issue is pretty low. It's a uh, 42 or 43 degree this back side this back portion is little bit warm but that's uh, not any issue in my case but it's uh, it will be an issue for several user, user if you are using this phone in a air conditioned room then it you will uh, don't think anything else it's uh, pretty normal but if you are using this device in the outside in the outside in the warm condition then it will create a lot of problem so that's a con in my viewing that's a con especially in my my viewing uh, then uh, the another con is uh, the display i already mentioned the display is pretty good in this device but the color saturation is pretty high in this display if you see a picture or if you see you set a wallpaper you can see the wallpaper colors are very oversaturated this is the main problem on this display the colors are pretty good uh, pretty oversaturated the color is pretty warm in this device uh, so it's a problem i can say but some people will love uh, if uh, they are using uh, previously uh, amoled display then they will love to use this device uh, because of this oversaturated color because amoled display already is oversaturated this is not a true color display or which I, which which we use in the ips panel or IPS using display so now the third uh, part is the camera this camera lug, uh, have to uh, you have to work or cyanogen have to work pretty hard on this camera because the camera is good sometimes it uh, shoot a pretty good amount of uh, pretty good amount of picture but sometimes the picture is pretty bad 
you you can see here we captured this image in the HDR resolution you can see the details are pretty good in this device but in this case we uh, in in this image we also captured this image with the HDR resolution in our room lighting condition in the evening the picture is full of noise so this camera uh, the Synogen team have to work and have to solve this camera issue and this uh, this picture are taken in normal condition uh, and this picture taken with the flash condition you can see how beautiful the picture come in the flashlight uh, one thing I have to mention the flash uh, in this device uses it will have it will help to uh, shoot pretty good picture in my viewing uh, and there is also some tweaks have to done by cyanogen mode uh, this camera uh, one thing I have to mention this is the main con of this device if you want to take picture to 16 in, into uh, is to 9 ratio then you have to go down the megapixel 2 is 2 in 2.1 uh, if but uh, this device uh, but many of these device have 13 megapixel camera they can easily capture image in 16 is to 9 ratio in 10 megapixel or 9 megapixel as far I know so this is a pretty bad thing and uh, one more thing I have to mention this video doesn't support full HD slow motion video if you want to capture slow motion video firstly you have to keep uh, the video size into 720p then you get got the then you get the option of 16 fps slow motion recording and uh, which is pretty annoying I would say and the slow motion video comes pretty dark uh, if you uh, if you shoot a slow motion uh, so I would say Synogen team had to work hard for the camera and they have to resolve the camera issue uh, because uh, I think this device have a good camera but the software is not optimizing that's why th sometimes the camera uh, sample takes with UV Eureka comes out pretty good but sometimes it's lack, lack it's have a lot of noise and the picture comes out too hazy and one more major issue uh, the forum is full of this issue the speaker issue the speaker quality and the speaker sound is pretty low i would say and it will not solve in the pre uh, in the upcoming update i would say i would say the speaker which is used in this device is not a good quality speaker and the output is pretty low if you are in a noisy area if you uh, and if you are in your home still you can't hear your uh, ringtone in your phone ringtone clear clearly i seem i just simply play a ring volume to uh, to you can see the ring volume is pretty low it's the maximum ring volume of this device which is pretty low so this is a main con of this device the speaker issue the speaker is not so loud and not a percent of loud it's pretty weak speaker and the sound is lumped and it's cracking if you are tweaks in your device if you want to uh, increase the speaker volume in tweaking in your room then the speaker gives uh, started to give you trouble the volume cracks on cracks from the speaker and the sound output comes out to be cracky which is pretty annoying and one thing I have to mention I forget in the uh, pro section the headphone output the headphone output is pretty good in this device this device gives a pretty good headphone output uh, the sample the sample headphone comes with Eureka is pre also pretty good and if you are want to uh, get a uh, high-end uh, output your device please use any sound magic skull candy or uh, Sennheiser or JBL headset uh, you will get a pretty good output the music experience is pretty good on this device and another issue is uh, the huge dimension you can see this device is a huge uh, device is 5.5 inch display and the dimension is too big uh, I re don't recall the dimension I forget it uh, but the dimension is pretty good it's uh, not a single hand uses phone you can see you can't use this device in a single hand uh, from this way to this way it's not possible to use this device in a single hand though I am a big hand so it's not a problem for me but some people have small hand that will be a main problem for them uh, so this is a usable issue it depends to user to user some use some people like uh, big screen device some people don't like uh, big screen device so they don't like big screen device it's gone for them and they like big screen device that was pros for them and uh, one more thing I have to mention I previously mentioned in a pro section Synogen OS is pretty good uh, full of customization but in con section I also mentioned the Synogen OS at uh, the Synogen bug the Synogen OS comes with full of bug in the 11s version I would say Eureka comes with a uh, custom OS uh, which is Synogen uh, mode 11 uh, and uh, they 
it's running on the CM11 based on Android 4.4.4 uh, too much user uh, complaining uh, bugs for the camera for the earphone for the proximity sensor for the battery calibration issue and Synogen also uh, re released their first update to Eureka the released first uh, version update of Eureka XNPH 05Q uh, which is the latest version and they also said that they will come another update uh, in March early March that will solve the proximity and headphone issue for this device so let's uh, freeze let's uh, finger cross for Synogen and uh, let's hope they will come pretty uh, fast with the update and uh, we hope uh, that the latest version of Synogen OS for Eureka in the Lollipop build Synogen OS 12 have uh, had solved all those issues so that's all guys that uh, the, this was the uh, pros and cons and the full in depth review of the UE Eureka after using for one month uh, so uh, I'm gonna quickly come with many more review many more gaming review of many more new new upcoming devices for my channel so please subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more review more update this is Shobik Mitro signing off hope to see you in my next review